Hey folks, Jeff here at the New Janky Workshop, and today I'm going to be making a blacksmithing wrench. This is actually the final product. I've already made it. Um, but that's what I'm making, and I'm making this so I can heat stuff up in the forge, and then put it in a vise, and then twist it, and then have complete control so I can keep that piece straight while I'm twisting it, so I can put twists into metal. That's why I'd be twisting it. So, um, this is going to be a very handle tool to, 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 to use at the forge, um, and uh, my first blacksmithing tool that I'm actually making myself. So we got this thing all cleaned up, got most of the rust off, did a little scrubbing with it with the wire brush last night, but it's all seized up. I can't make it move. It's not going to be used to me as a blacksmith wrench if I can't make it move. So option A, WD-40. Option B, fire. We'll see if we can get one of these two to unseize that wrench. Now, I've decided that even though I can't get the sleeve to come off, I'm going to use this at least to test my welding. Really? It's raining, and I'm welding. Hot steel. One piece, no less. Let's see if I can grind some of these welds out to make them look a little prettier. Not pretty. But it's welded on there. That's what I need it. See, I need to work on my welding, which I can't do today now because it's raining, sadly. Um, but I've achieved what I've wanted to achieve. I just need a wrench that actually works. So, it's a good test piece. Let's try with a wrench that actually works. Still on there. Not anymore.
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.